Welcome to the Netgear Essentials WAX202 Quick Configuration Guide. The Netgear Essentials WAX202 is a dual band Wi Fi 6 access point and is capable of providing a 1.8 gigabits per second of theoretical throughput. The Netgear WAX202 is capable of three separate operating modes router mode, access point mode, and wireless bridge mode. In router mode, it allows you to take advantage of the Netgear router functions. The Netgear router is set up as a normal Wi-Fi router behind your existing router or gateway. This mode requires that all your devices to be connected to the new Netgear router and not to your existing gateway. In access point mode, you can connect wired devices to your existing gateway and connect wired and wireless devices to your new router. This mode requires the user to create a wireless SSID on the access point and forward all of its routing capabilities to the router or gateway. In bridge mode, it allows you to use this access point as a Wi-Fi bridge and connect multiple devices with Wi-Fi. For example, at a faster 802.11 AX speed, the access point that functions as a bridge must connect over Wi-Fi to another access point that provides internet access. For more information on these three operation modes, please refer to the WAX202 or the WAX206 user manuals. Let's take a look at the back of the WAX202 access point. First, we have the WAN port. Next, we have the three additional Ethernet ports. And last, we have the power adapter port. Before we start the initial configuration, let's review the two configuration methods on the access point. The first one is connect over Ethernet. And the second one is connect over Wi-Fi. Both methods require the user to open a web browser and type in https colon slash slash router login dot net. Connect over Ethernet mode. It is basically the PC directly connected to the access point using an Ethernet cable. First, we connect the Ethernet cable to the LAN port on your computer and then to any of the LAN ports on the access point. Connect over Wi-Fi. A Wi-Fi enabled PC or mobile device is required for this method. First, we'll locate and connect to the access point default Wi-Fi SSID. The default SSID and Wi-Fi password is printed on and label beneath the access point. In this initial configuration video, we will use the connect over Wi-Fi method. On a wireless enabled PC, connect to the WAX202 default SSID and enter the password. Once the PC is connected to the WAX202 default SSID, open a web browser and type in https colon slash slash router login dot net. Your browser might display a security warning because of the self-signed certificate on the WAX202, which is a expected behavior. Just click advanced and proceed to the website. We will then follow the prompts on the screen. The first screen prompt is asking to select either access point or router operating modes. In this demo video, we will select access point mode, as this access point will be an extension to our existing gateway router. The next few prompts are requesting to change the admin password and to change a new Wi-Fi network and Wi-Fi password. Since this is a demo video, we will not change the default SSID. The next prompt is verifying a new firmware version is available. If a new firmware version is available, please follow the prompts to complete this task. Once the series of prompts are completed, the WAX202 will restart. After the reboot, the local login page will display. If the local login page does not display, type in HTTPS router login.net in the address field on your browser. Once we are on a WAX202 login page, log in with your new admin credentials. To verify the access point operation mode, click on Advanced Setup and scroll to Router AP Bridge Mode. Click on Wireless to edit and configure the three access point SSIDs. Here is where we enable and disable client isolation. Enable the wireless network change the SSID name, 
the security options, and the Wi-Fi password. Once completed, with the changes, click Apply. Once the access point returns from applying the new configuration, verify if the changes are applied correctly. Now that WAX202 is configured and ready to go. Thanks for watching.